Have you, by the way, come across the Women's Empowerment and Investment Group? Well, there's good news for female SMEs in the country. Of course, like I said, we do understand the impact of COVID-19 on businesses. Many people may have lost their jobs, no form of income coming home at all. And, you know, uh, women especially are also affected. We know that the NBSSI, along with the government of Ghana, have come up with the 600 uh, million Ghana cities, you know, stimulus package for businesses. So micro, small and medium scale businesses in the country. We do also know that not every business would benefit from this. And as a result, there's been a stimulus fund that's been set aside for female SMEs in the country by this particular group. I have the CEO here, Adeline Ekufu Adokufu, and she's going to be telling us all about it. So she joins me in the studios right now. Good morning, Adeline. Good morning. How Adeline. are you doing? I'm very well. Thank You're you. welcome to TV3 New thank Day. Thank you for Now, first of all, I mean, even before we talk about what the stimulus fund is about, what do you think about the conversation about the delay in the passage of the affirmative action bill? Um, it's very interesting, and it's, um, it's, I'm glad to be here while she's speaking about it. Mm. Um, from my point of view, Progress is progress. Mm -hmm. Slow progress is still progress. We're grateful that it's been tabled. And I feel that as women, we need to come together to raise our voices and make sure that these matters are heard and addressed accordingly. Is this ever a conversation, uh, and I'm sure that people would assume from your name <laughs> that you are the daughter um, you know, of the president. Has it ever come to the table whilst you're having a conversation with your father about it? To his, understand. I'm actually his niece. His niece, sorry, yes. yes. I'm actually his yes, niece. But have it, has it ever come to that point where you talk about it and ask him, you know, what the delay is and all of that? Um, no, but I, I mean, the matter is very dear to him and mm. I am sure that the government is doing everything they can yeah. to ensure that it is passed. How does this tie into your project? Because you said you started, um, you know, a, a, a group that is looking at providing some funds for yes. female SMEs in the country. How does this tie into it? So let me tell you a little bit about our organization yeah. and then I'll get into the stimulus fund. Okay. So we started this um, organization because we found that there's a gap between direct investment that goes into lo lower or bottom tier um, enterprises mm -hmm. and top tier enterprises. So there's a gap in the middle where, a lot, where we found that it's predominantly female led and a lot of these enterprises don't have the investment that can take their businesses to the next level. Mm -hmm. And actually in Ghana, according to the MasterCard Index of Women Entrepreneurs, 46% of entrepreneurs in Ghana are female. And they also found that these women are driven into entre entrepreneurship out of necessity. Yeah. Um, the, the need to survive and to support one's family. And a large proportion of them, like I said, lack the financial resources and infrastructure needed to scale up their businesses. So our strategy is um, to invest in female-led SMEs in sub-Saharan Africa, Okay. Um, starting with what we call the king's economies. So Kenya, Ivory Coast, Nigeria, Ghana, and Senegal. Okay. But with Ghana being our launch and primary focus country. Um, so our focus areas are we aim to identify businesses that fit our criteria and to provide them with patient capital mm. and in the infrastructure they need. Okay. And we're also focused on creating long-term wealth for women as well. So, um, so far we've identified opportunities in plastic and waste management, mm. um, in the hospitality, phytoceuticals and nutrition, textiles and fashion. And okay. at the moment, we've empowered 50 local local dressmakers to be oh, able to provide um ppes to various institutions when did this start so this started with the the organization or with the female with the, with the stimulus fund because so that's no, what you're so talking the stimulus about fund, oh I'm that's different from it. what you are talking about yes okay in so, terms of empowerment so okay. in response to covid we've wake has partnered with anan capital partners and mm. grow unite build africa also known as guba to set up this fund which is geared to um, invest between 10,000 and 30,000 CDs per, per enterprise. I see. Yes, and so far, it's, it's, we've had a very good response. We have um, received over 400 applications. Wow. So we opened at the beginning of June. Okay. And we hope to open applications to run through till August. How many 15th. enterprises are you looking at supporting? So at the moment, we're, we're looking at supporting between 10 to 20. Okay. Yes, but okay. it's not. It's. You depending. already have about four hundred entries. I know. It's going but, to be difficult. But to we choose. have we have um, 
apart from the grants that will be provided to the select few, you mm -hmm. know, we're also providing opportunities to 50% of applicants to participate in webinars mm. on topics such as, you know, mental health, basic accounting, business planning and marketing and, you know, brand building and strategy um, okay. implementation. And then also 100 applicants will also benefit from um, the use of a software called Oze. Oze okay. has partnered with us. Um, it's a software that is online, so you can go on it on the web. And it's available on Android, and in about a month it should be available on iOS. Mm. And it helps businesses track um, their sales and also to collect data on their customers. Okay. Um, we will also, as a whole, we're trying to make sure that everybody that applies is able to benefit even if they are not successful. Um, so we'll ensure that we give adequate feedback for those that didn't necessarily get the grant. So we're creating a platform where these women are able to um, communicate with mentors over okay. a six month period um, on how to shape up their business plans and you know, put their business applications together, together. For, for the future. I, yes. I mean, I want to understand how women can qualify for this and what the dynamics are, because mm -hmm. this is a loan. Yes. And so even after I've qualified and I've gotten the money, how, how am I going to pay? What's the process like? Okay, so it's going to be, so you'll be given, it's patient capital, so there's no interest. Mm. Um, no interest at all? No. So you can pay for it over two years, and we'll give you a six-month um, moratorium. So okay. you can start paying after six months. Right. And then also... Um, How do I qualify, we will, first of all, even so, before? So you'll have to apply online. Mm -hmm. So you can apply online. You can send an email to our email address, which is info at the wig .com, mm. and we will send, share the link with you. Okay. Um, okay. And then once you apply, you'll be asked to send in... I don't know what's going on. I know, it's master. fine. Don't worry. <laughs> we all struggle. You'll with be this, asked so to fine. send in your um, company documents mm -hmm. and... You know, the things we'll be looking out for is, you know, a clear vision. Does, does the business have a clear vision and do, can we clearly ascertain what they're trying to achieve? Mm. Um, are their goals quantifiable? You know, are they realistic? Ability and experience to deliver on these goals. And also, is the applicant short-term cash-driven or long-term wealth creation-driven? Because mm. we're all about creating wealth long term for women okay you know we see this as that's the only way in which women will truly be empowered is by long-term wealth creation and we'll also look at how the business will positively impact the community and the nation as a whole mm. yes i see but but um so is it for only businesses that have started already are we doing startups as well yes yeah, so it's it's there's no um there's no Limitation There's no as limitation to, okay. as to, you know, um, but we would like to see a little bit of track record. Okay. Yes, exactly. At least what, six months? Exactly. Okay. Yes. So then you can send that email again to... to info, I-N-F-O, at the wig, T-H-E-W-E-I-G, dot com. How long do we have to apply? So the applications will close on the 15th of August. Okay. Yes. Then there's enough time, there's enough at, least. Time. at least another two months and, yes. and some change. Yes. Okay, exactly. um, so if you're interested, especially if you didn't qualify for any of the other uh, stimulus packages as well, I think that it will be necessary for you um, to, to join and find a way to also benefit from this. And so please repeat the email address. So just the so. email address is info, I-N-F-O, at the wig, T-H-E-W-E-I-G dot com. Okay, is there a number we could call in case we're struggling with sending emails? There is a number, but I but can't not, remember. Okay, off, no problem. The so then we'll head. stick to the email address. But yes. then you do have a, a page on yes, social media. Yes, we do. Media. We have a social media page, which is the wig G H. So mm -hmm. T H E W E I G G H. All right. So this is more about empowering women. And yes. so I, I hope that a lot of you can join. But just moving away from this, something started trending yesterday, and I just thought to ask you about it. Like um, Adam Sheila said, there's been increased violence against women um, over the COVID-19 period. But even before that, just because of stigmatization, a lot of women could not come out and tell their story about how they suffered from sexual violence. Mm -hmm. As a woman, also looking to empower other women, what is your take on women who get sexually violated and are scared to come out to speak? I mean, this is it's very sad and it's very unfortunate. And, you know, as being a woman and a mother, it's, very, it's a very sensitive issue. And... I mean, I'm, it's, it's terrible to hear this. And a lot of, a lot of 
mental psychological abuse is also going on yeah but that's those are go unreported and I mean for WIG our focus is both on women and child abuse mm. and um, it's in our pipeline and it's in our strategic intent to help make a difference via the appropriate channels to, okay. to minimize both but I true that's why we believe that to counteract these actions women need to be economically empowered and to be able to support themselves Absolutely. and the community at large because once women are economically empowered, they'll be able to make better decisions and have more control over those decisions. Mm -hmm. Yes, Absolutely. And so um, for those of you who need some help with your businesses, again, get in touch with Adeline via her, her group, which is the Women's Empowerment and Investment Group. It's yes. been a pleasure Thank speaking you so to you. Thank much. you so much Thank for joining so us much as well. Us. And that's Adeline Ekufo Adokufo. She is the CEO and they are giving out, uh, you know, some support to female um, you know, enterprises. So it's from what, 15,000 to about 30,000 per business. So give it a try. All the best with that.